Hey guys, how you doing? I thought I would do kind of a results video um, of my uh, evaluation that I had uh, last week. On Thursday, uh, me and my dad went to the therapist's office. He works at a college um, in Virginia. And so uh, the therapist interviewed me for about two hours, and then my dad for about an hour. Um, and when he was interviewing my dad, I was filling out just a bunch of um, surveys and, um, you know, questionnaire kind of things. And I guess the things that I was trying to figure out to recap um, are, one, uh, do I for sure have uh, gender dysphoria? Am I transgender? Or am I, like, making it up in my head? Um, and then number two, if I do get the diagnosis, um, what steps should I do to proceed from here? Um, so we talked a lot about just kind of my childhood and going through the timeline. After he like did all the marks on the questionnaires and stuff, I was much more leaning towards the gender dysphoria spectrum. Oh, so then after he came to a diagnosis of yes you have gender dysphoria he wanted to figure out if it was early or late onset meaning if it was present in my childhood or if it developed just recently so he did a questionnaire or he had my both of my parents fill out a questionnaire kind of you know about their experiences with me when I was a child and whether they thought I might have exhibited gender dysphoria and apparently, I didn't get to read through what they said, but it seems as though, you know, this whole thing came as a surprise to them. There's a couple, I guess, uh, explanations for that. Um, for biological females, um, it's much more accepted for them to, like, dress and act tomboyish. And, like, so if they're displaying, you know, signs of gender difference issues oh you know they're just a tomboy whereas um if you're a biological male and you're exhibiting lots of female um desires uh parents tend to find that more concerning so that's kind of how it may have slipped through the cracks and also you know parents um have a different perspective than you do i'm very shy and like, I don't like talking about myself. So if I thought that I was a boy, I would not have told anyone and I would have kept it to myself and thought there was something wrong with me and I wouldn't want people to judge me. And um, cause my parents obviously wouldn't have seen what's in my head. So also there's a section in here where Dr. Yarhouse um, kind of ruled out you know, he ruled out um, transvestic behaviors, which is, you know, transvestitis, like you get sexual excitement from cross-dressing. So I don't have that. I don't have body dysmorphic disorder. I don't have schizophrenia or psychotic disorder. And he ruled out me kind of being a non-binary gender with like a questionnaire also that I filled out. This kind of general conclusion is that um, yes, you do have gender dysphoria and you're, you know, transgender, you exhibit, you know, to be really a, a boy in your head. So the next step is do you transition or do you choose to live as a girl who has gender dysphoria and struggles with it every day. So that's kind of where I am, you know, there's pros and cons to both. For choosing to live as a girl with struggling through gender dysphoria for the rest of my life. I have, you know, the pros of that are I don't have to deal with coming out and judgment and money on a bunch of hormones and surgeries and, um, you know, probably maybe better employment opportunities, but obviously the cons are I might be a little bit miserable. Um, maybe a lot a bit miserable. Then if I chose to transition, obviously it's just kind of flipped. The pros are that I would probably be a lot happier and feel better about myself and about my future and 
the cons would be, you know, fear of judgment and um, maybe not getting some jobs that I want in my field if they're really conservative and judgmental. So I'm just kind of stuck again. <laughs> So I got, you know, some answers from this evaluation, but not everything that I wanted to know. So yeah, I mean, also in like, you know, his recommendations, he kind of says that I should get a gender therapist to work with, um, to one, he thinks I should work through my depression and anxiety issues before I choose, if I choose to transition, and also my people pleaser issues he thinks I need to work through because he wouldn't want me trying to please people by not transitioning or please people by transitioning. I guess if my peers were maybe like, you know, oh, transition, he thinks that, you know, it obviously should be my decision. So I guess the thing is not knowing really what path to take and, um, you know, just being in this, I know now that I'm transgender, but how do I proceed? Do I want to come out? Or do I not want to? So if you guys have had any like gender evaluations, like let me know how they've gone and like your experience and like if you have any <laughs> advice or suggestions or questions for me, I'd love to talk about it in the comment section. Um, go crazy with it and uh, yeah, have a good holiday season.